Hey, I'm Adrian from Production Crate. Today I'm gonna to show you five scripts that you can download for free to help improve your workflow in After Effects. Before I get into it, this is not intended to be a top five list. These are five scripts that I personally use and I personally find useful for the way that I work. Your mileage may vary. If you know of any other useful scripts that you use that I didn't mention in this video, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And while you're down there, go ahead and smash that like button. Layers to Grid is a name your own price script made by Lloyd Alvarez and found on aescripts.com. This is obviously a very specific task, so it's not going to be useful to everyone. But let's say I'm making a promo for Production Crate, which I do almost every week, and I have a bunch of elements that I need to display all at once. Here I've got 64 elements I want displayed on the screen all at the same time. I just run the script and tell it to arrange them into eight rows, and it does. Now if I just parent all the clips to the first one, I can use it to scale the whole grid down and fit into the screen. Before I found the script, I was doing this with math. Now my life is much easier. Sometimes I'm working on a project and the expressions and the hierarchies get so complicated that I kind of start to forget how they work. And occasionally I'll pre-compose something that I shouldn't have and it'll just cause everything to break. And in a worst case scenario, sometimes I won't even notice until it's too late to undo it. So the way that I like to avoid this is by using a script called Bake Parented Transform, which is made by Blurry Pixel Software and is available on AE Scripts. You just run the script on a layer that's parented to something else and it recreates the motion using keyframes. Up next is Ease and Wiz. This is a script that uses expressions to make your keyframe motion look better. Here's an example of a linear move and now here's that same animation with Ease and Wiz applied. It looks a lot more interesting. You can use it to add secondary motion as well. I don't have much else to say about it beyond that, but you can check out the instructional video, which is linked in the description below. Number four is Duik. It's actually pretty crazy that Duik is still free. I remember when it first came out and I was blown away by it, but it's even been improved and updated so much since then. Duik is a set of tools for rigging and animating characters in After Effects. It's still a very complicated process even with Duik, but Duik does make it way easier. On screen right now is just a bunch of examples from their showreel. Number five is Baconizer. Just one click and this script will add delicious and crispy bacon to any- Oh, okay, okay, I'm just kidding. Although that is a real script and I'll link it below as well. Number five is actually FX Console from Video Copilot. First of all, I wouldn't say this one is technically a script. What is it, a plugin? I don't know, it's a workflow tool. It just makes it easier to access effects and presets and control more things with shortcuts. There's a link to it in the description below. The before VFX clip of the day is from 21 Jump Street. Check out the crewman on the right shooting at actors with a paintball gun. And that's all I've got for today. I hope you found this useful. Again, if you have any scripts you want to talk about that I haven't mentioned, put them in the comments. Also, while you're at it, remember to make it awesome and uh, see you next time.